Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. A new video about the 2013 uh, Victor Glide Classic. We almost finished with, uh, rebuilding that motorcycle. Today will be just like maintenance thing. We're gonna change all the three oils, the engine, the transmission, primary or the gear oil. Uh, so um, we went to the nearest Harley and we got some oil. Uh, we have that kit for the seal for the primary cover or your uh, gear cover and we have three o-rings so we most probably will end up with uh, with an extra o-ring that came with uh, with the oil kit uh, the tools we need we're gonna need a um, 5 8 socket and that's to remove all the three uh, drain plugs and we're gonna need a uh, allen that's a 3 8 and that's for the transmission oil dip stick here that will fit over here. We're gonna need some extension, and the uh, and we're gonna need a oil filter wrench to remove your oil filter, and T twenty seven and these for the five bolts that uh, hold the primary cap, and that will be on the other side. We'll show you step by step how we're gonna do it. Uh, the first thing that you need to get your bike uh, warm. Uh, hot so run it for a few minutes you can uh, like take a quick ride and come back uh, and by that make sure it's gonna be very hot so don't burn yourself um, we're gonna need a drain pan here um, and uh, my uh, drain pan that I usually use for my cars actually it doesn't fit here so I uh, come up with a different thing that should be working. I got a, a foil pan. We have a tone, and that should perf fit perfectly underneath my bike, and big enough to um, to hold all the oil, the transmission, and the engine oil. Uh, and then we can transfer it to our oil pan. Again, if you're doing a lot of motorcycle work, you can buy the the other short pan. But for my purpose, I have these at home handy, so I'm gonna use these. Uh, again, first thing we're gonna make uh, the we're gonna run the bike, so warm it up. Then we'll be back. We'll show you where exactly is. Um, let me try show it now. Where are the drain plugs before it gets very hot and very hard to uh, go underneath the bike with the camera because it's very tight down there. Uh, and we'll show you where exactly are the three. Uh, dream plugs so okay guys from the right side of the bike you have two drain plugs on the left side you have one drain plug the two drain plugs for this side is the engine and your transmission drain plugs the engine trans the engine drain plug plug will be underneath here the transmission will be underneath the transmission so let's go together down again that's the engine it's gonna be somewhere here so let's get the light and underneath you guys can see here I'll try to get my wrench so that's your engine oil drain plug is here that's not a plug again so here is your engine oil drain drain don't mess with that hex here be careful about this so that's your engine drain plug and again if you come from here from the side to see where is my finger compared to the to the engine actually it's somewhere here yep that line okay so that's the first one is down here okay the second one you move back a little bit so and out so the second one is a little bit towards the frame you see that frame crossing here there is an opening here and inside that opening you can see that drain block up there let me get some light yep here we go that's your transmission one here we go so that's your transmission drain plug. So again, 
look at my finger down here up 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 so you know exactly it's it, like in the middle of your of your transmission here so that's where you're gonna locate your transmission drain down here a little bit forward and in so that's the transmission that's the engine and here is your primary cap and the drain plug here will be right under let me get the light from the other side here we go so again that's right under your primary cap or cover right here so these are the drain the three drain blocks that you're gonna need to remove also what we're gonna do we're gonna do a clutch adjustment if you guys remember from one of the videos after we uh put the clutch together the lever the lever for the clutch we had an issue um when we were trying to start the bike and we pressed the clutch all the way and it was like still in gear so when the weather got warm actually it got like fixed itself but when it's cold i think it's gonna happen again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that um adjustment for the clutch and the best way to do the need they say the manual say a room temperature now let's warm the bike let's run for a few minutes then get back and start open the the drain uh, plugs and uh, and um and drain the oils one more thing before we do this we'll show you where exactly is your filter again that's from your left side now and the filter is right here that shiny chrome one down here okay and the kit we have from harley do you have two different options the chrome filter or you're gonna have the black filter it depends on what you have and your preference so if you want to change that from chrome to black that's up to you if you have black want to get the chrome one that's up to you again there's no different price they're same price uh, price is the same so uh we'll get the bike around for a few minutes and we'll be back okay guys now we're ready to uh, get the power uh, the bike warm now we're ready to start to drain but before we go down and and open the drain blocks you want to make sure you open your uh drain uh sorry the oil filling caps so you let air going so it drain more or more faster so for the oil you just do it by hand you can just leave it like this for now and um for your uh, transmission one you need the uh, 3 8 with an extension here and again you just you can just open it and just let it sit here so a lit air going in you don't have to now remove remove them all the way just a little bit to uh to get air inside uh, to get the air in so it will uh, drain much much faster so now let's go underneath the bike and open our first drain plug we're not gonna open both on the same time we're gonna open one by one drain one then close it then drain the other one and uh, then uh, close it and so on okay you always uh, gonna need some uh, towels around just in case if you're gonna make a mess like me I'm sure I'm gonna do some mess so um, you always have to be ready with some towels uh, old microfiber towels garage towels whatever you have so you want to make sure that's um, a magnet here okay a little bit of metal shaping is fine but if it's too much you're gonna have it to, to be checked by the shop so you, you make sure like you don't have any um, any major issue uh, in your bike um, but a little bit like this is fine try to clean it so now we're gonna change that o-ring I 
got some fresh oil on my finger here and just lubricate that new o-ring and you're gonna need just to lay back oil will make it much easier to going in now it's in the groove and it's ready we're gonna put it in the side and uh, you guys can see the oil draining is almost 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 like complete we'll leave it for a few minutes and I will try to uh, hold the bike straight up so if there is any oil like in the in that part which is should not because the the drain is all the way to that pan all the way to that side but uh when it comes mainly to the transmission which is is going to be on this side i prefer to have the bike flat or straight so if there's any oil still there it will drain so i'm going to do this um uh, for, for both for the engine and for the transmission so we'll be back after we drain everything and we'll show you we're gonna remove the filter then after we change the filter we'll put the block back and start drain the transmission fluid okay guys now we're gonna start taking our oil filter out and definitely here you need some towels microfiber towels in your rugs underneath because that's well make some mess so you don't do too much mess if you have any like an old like um, I don't have like you know these two liters uh, sodas bottles you can actually cut it and open and just put it under here so it will fit right under and around the filter so it will collect any uh, any oil that will come from it okay so uh, I think it's good so now let's uh, Let's get that filter removed. Okay, now we're gonna get our uh, oil uh, filter wrench. And I found that if we go from underneath the uh, shifter, that will give you a good angle to go in there and uh, hug your uh, filter with that wrench like this. And now we're gonna start to uh, uh, remove it. I wish the camera will stay and I hope I'm not gonna hit it again. Just want to make sure you start with that wrench, then after this you can use your hand. Here we go guys. It will usually have some oil, make sure to drain it. So it's not going to make a mess. So I'm going to leave it here and uh, let it drain. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, wipe all the oil out there and get our new oil filter ready okay so I'm just gonna get that microfiber towel another one a little bit cleaner one just gonna wipe all the oil that on the fitting over there you see how now it's clean I'll we'll make sure it's clean and good and uh, we have our new filter I'm not feeling like leaving that plastic around the engine so I'm just gonna keep it you can write down like the mileage and the date we needed that service um, so uh, that's something keep it for you I will keep it here with a receipt for example uh, that's our new filter again nice looking chrome one and we are not gonna prime it we're not gonna put some um, oil inside all what we're gonna do is just get some of our new fresh oil and do exact same thing we did with the o-ring that was um, around the drain block just add oil around that rubber gasket here so it will suck to the metal and uh, it will get tightened well after you made your handy oily that will be slippery so you want to make sure you change your gloves or wipe your hand very well because you're gonna need to time the filter with your hand 
so not with your wrench so uh, let's go ahead and put the filter back on as you guys can see we removed the other uh, towel and we cleaned more there was a little bit of the rubber gasket from the old filter was stuck and uh, I tried with my fingernail I didn't use anything sharp just to remove it to get it clean now we're gonna uh, ready to put our new filter in again you're gonna need the, I'm gonna get the camera back a little bit and need to get your filter in the angle and just it's all about what you're gonna feel you're gonna have to feel yep it's going into the center and start to screw it in don't don't try hard you don't want to miss the threads just gently clockwise till it start to be in place after you, you start to get like tight all what you need to do I think is just like a half a turn with your hand and that will be it okay here we go guys it's about half a turn with my hand um, and again you don't need to over tighten it within your inch or anything just your hand will be enough for uh, for tightening that uh, oil filter now we're gonna go to the other side and uh, close the drain plug and start draining the transmission fluid as you guys can see over there there is no more uh, oil draining it's barely dripping over there so now we're gonna put our plug back and we're gonna torque it the torque for all three all three drain plugs are between 14 to 21 to uh, foot pound that's the torque so i'm gonna set my torque wrench in about like uh, 18 19 and we'll torque it like this if you guys don't want to use a torque you just do it by hand till um i mean like with your socket till you feel it's tight enough that's fine if you if your hand if you don't trust your hand just use a torque wrench and uh, make sure you get it right so you don't like miss the threads or anything okay so now uh, let's torque it in Just guys, make sure you wipe any oil like this, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna start to burn. Actually, it might make mess here first, but I wanna make sure I got everything clean as much as I can. There is some here from the filter when we remove it. So again, I'm just gonna wipe it and dry as much as I can. So even if it's gonna be some uh, burning smell, it's not gonna be that much. Now, uh, let's move and uh, start to get the transmission plug out we're gonna inspect the the magnet see how much or how bad are the shavings I don't see much which is good that's a good sign if again if you see a pile of shaving here that's not good so if it's a lot of shaving building in the top that's not good if it's in the side like my case that's fine let me just get the extra oil from it and we'll show you what it looks like so, so here we go there is no much shaving on it there is some but again nothing built up in the top so which is good that's reasonable now we're gonna do the same change the ring and get the plug ready I'm gonna put the bike on a flat position so drain as much as we can from that transmission fluid. Then we'll be back, put the plug back in and um, move to the other side and drain the primary uh, fluid. Okay guys, you can see now it's stopped draining. We have the plug with a new uh, o-ring placed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my plug inside my socket so it will be easy to start uh, thread it in, put some extension, just help me. Okay, here we go. That's the chain case uh, plug here, as I showed you guys earlier. And again, you want to make sure inspect your block from the metal shavings test some 
this one has more than the others but still it's nothing crazy but it has some build up on it so we're gonna get it clean see how much guys okay and definitely we're gonna change the o-ring and uh, put the new o-ring in And meanwhile, we're gonna start to remove that. Put the camera back a little bit. So now we're gonna start to remove the cap and uh, um, change the gasket, get the new gasket on, and uh, start to get ready to fill all the three oils. Guys, now the primary oil got drained. We have the, the plug in, the plug uh, ready with a new uh, O-ring. So we're gonna install this. Okay. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna start first fill the engine and transmission oil from the other side then after this I'm gonna put the bike on a stand to make it level and the reason is I'm gonna need to adjust the clutch so if I just adding the oil here and try to adjust I might spill some of the oil down so which is something I don't need so you need your bike to be flat straight uh, so you do your adjustment without like losing any oil so I'm gonna finish the engine and transmission oil, put the bike on a flat stand, then fill the primary oil here or fluid here, then do my clutch adjustment. I uh, will show you how to do it. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. You guys make sure you wipe all the, the oil that dropped here. And uh, we'll show you when we uh, changing the gasket, everything, we also have to clean all that oil around so let's go to the other side and uh, fill our uh, engine and transmission oil before that I'm gonna need to get that pan away and empty it so I don't wanna do any mess here so let's go ahead okay now we're gonna fill our uh, engine oil first and then we'll check the level the owner manual said three quarts the service manual 3.5 so I think it should take the 3.5 but I'm gonna add first the 3 then if I think I need uh, to add more I will check the level then we'll add more but we'll go with a uh, 3 course first and we'll go from there okay guys here uh, the Dip stick and your measurement. I wish you can see in the camera, but let's put it this way. So here the word is add, and here it's full, and that's say hot on Jiffy stand. And here is the add and full and hot, and that's when the vehicle is upright. So we should measure it when it's hot but for now if you measure it when it's cold and it's on jiffy stand so we go with this one we need it to be somewhere here like halfway so and to measure you need to put your dip stick in okay all the way down screw it back in take it out and you're gonna need to wipe it and do it again
So here on the Jeffy stand, let's say it's full and cold, which is I don't think so it's right. So what we gotta do is just leave it like a few minutes for the oil to sit down. Then after that, we'll measure it again. Now we're gonna start to fill our transmission oil. I think the dip stick, the transmission oil dip stick is very, very narrow. Oh, let's say um, uh, the tolerance is not that big. You see, you need it to be somewhere inside that box with the X. Okay, that uh, should be um, A and F, which is add or full. Okay, A and F. So you need it to be somewhere here. So it should take 32 uh, ounces, which is exactly uh, one quart. Now we're gonna add the transmission, and that is the transmission that they give it to me, and they wrote down here for me so I don't get confused. So that's the one they give it to me, is not the Harley Davidson brand, but I got it from Harley. So anyway, they give it to me for 20 bucks. You can find it online for this cheaper. But anyway, that's my first time with Harley, so I wanted to go to the dealer. Uh, okay, so that transmission should take the whole cord. Hey, okay, now since it's been sitting, let's uh, check our level for the engine oil. So it gives me almost to the full end it again is not hot so uh, um, so guys I'm looking here that's where it should be when it's hot so we gotta check again after it gets hot I just put the three course court and I think that should be enough now uh, let's check that transmission oil and when you check your transmission oil you don't need to Put that dip stick all the way and uh, close down you just need to pull it down like this and that's it and just take it out okay almost to the full so we're good in here as well so now we're gonna put that in and tighten it and uh, let's get the bike on uh, on a stand and start doing our uh, primary or our clutch uh, oil and the adjustment. Okay guys we got our uh, bike now on the stand we used our wheel lock like this you can if you have a jack you can use it but that's much easier now uh, since I'm not gonna like do a lot of work so the wheel lock is worked great for me keep the bike uh, straight so now we're gonna start uh, adding our uh, primary fluid here and uh, we measured our six ounces plus a full jug which is 32 that make it 38 and now we're gonna get our funnel. There is a specific one, but when I uh, got my uh, oils from uh, Harley's, they said you don't have it. So I'm gonna use any file I have, like with a thin uh, tip opening to start pour my uh, fluid in. Okay guys, the only way to check your liver is you make sure you see the fluid down there. I wish you guys can see. So that's the only way you check that you have a good amount. If you don't see it in the bottom here, that's mean you need to add more. And for us, we are good. And that's why we do that cable adjustment on a level, straight. Because if the bike is on the stand, that oil will start to drip because it's gonna lean this way so now let's go to the process of how to adjust your clutch 
So after you remove, if let's say you're not gonna change it, but you're just gonna adjust the clutch. After you remove your, they, do, they call it derby cover, clutch inspection cover, after you remove it, uh, you, what you need to do is you need to have uh, some play in your clutch. So you see that's tight. That's the normal play, which is, should be uh, one eighth of an inch. So you need to have more play. And to do that, you need to go down here. And I already took the rubber boot out. I'll try to get the light. Uh, okay. So here we go. I already moved the rubber boot up. The rubber boot should be covering that adjustment area here. And for me to get access, actually, I should go from the other side to start loosening these jam nuts here and then move the whole adjustment piece up. So let's go to the other side and do it. Hey guys, here is a bare access to the adjustment, the adjuster for the clutch. In my case, I'm not sure it's gonna be the same or no because this one has, a, I think, a replaced that clutch cable because of the longer handlebar. So in my case, it's a half inch for the lock nut and um, 716 here for the adjuster. So uh, let's put the camera here and let's uh, break that loose. So you need your half inch here and your 716 down here. Okay, let's break it loose. Okay. And now you need to move the lock nut up and then move your adjuster up to follow it. And that will give you a lot of play for your clutch cable. Okay, let's go to the other side to see how much play we have. Okay, now, you guys, it's pretty loose now. So now here we go to the adjuster and you're gonna need uh, an Allen and the size is um, 732. And you're gonna need a uh, 1116 wrench if you have an offset one that should work perfect but if you don't have an offset one let's do it with a regular one okay guys i have a hard time get not loose if you have the offset wrench will help a lot but anyway i did a crazy thing it did work right i just put an impact a little bit like just I hit the button slightly and just came off so now the adjustment you need to loosen that nut and uh, now you're gonna get your uh, 732 yeah 732 Allen put it in the middle and so first you need to counterclockwise kind of unscrew it and then you're gonna keep going until you feel it's touching so so far it's loose 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 now it's touching okay so that's where it's supposed to be then you're gonna have to so again that's slightly touching you look at your angle here and then you need to do half a turn or to one full of a turn so I'm gonna go a little bit a little bit over half a turn and we'll hold that in place and we'll tighten that 
nut all the way and then I'm gonna use my wrench and try to tie it again that the torque for this nut should be um, around 80 inch pounds which is shouldn't be that hard so again I'm not gonna I don't have a torque wrench to do it so I'm just gonna do it with my hand and that's it you don't need to to do a lot of tightening here okay guys now after you did your adjustment you need to go and uh, adjust your clutch again the clutch cable so you have about 116 to 1 8 of an inch of a play so now we're gonna go down it's still loose here so we're gonna go to from the other side and start use the opposite of what we did to loosen that uh, clutch so we'll go ahead and start move that back as much as we can now let's see how much play do we have in the, in the clutch lever okay I think we have more than one inch one eighth of an inch so we're still gonna keep doing more yep I think that's good here guys it's about the one eighth of an inch of a play that's all what you need you always there's another way but I think it's a hard to do it here is the space from that furrow here to the bracket should be also one eighth okay now we have the clutch adjusted now we're gonna move that jam nut down until it touch the adjust the adjuster then after this we're gonna have to hold and tighten now we need to get your boot down that's the, to prevent dust from going into this uh, nuts area and uh, the clutch adjustment is done now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the derby cover or the clutch inspection cover on but before we do so as I mentioned we're gonna have to clean any oil let me adjust the camera there we go so any oil here has to be cleaned give you more space so here is our new gasket and here is the old gasket so you want to make sure you remove it and after you remove your old gasket again now we're in a good shape I don't see any tear or anything on it looks good but we're gonna have to uh, dry the inside the groove all the way around and all the way around where the screw is gonna be here we go we have the new gasket in place if you're not gonna change your gasket make sure you dry uh, your old gasket okay don't leave oil on it Okay, now we're gonna start with the cover on so that's how it's supposed to be start with the first hole that was in the top and you don't torque anything because it has a certain pattern it should be a star like that's number one was the top the number two here that's uh, let's say that's 12 o'clock here should be like what uh, eight o'clock then you go out opposite to it let's say that's uh, two o'clock then you go to like ten o'clock The last one will be the five o'clock. Now we're gonna start get them tight with the same pattern. So it push the gasket uh, evenly. The torque specification for these should be between 84 to 108 inch pound, like you can say on 95 or so. But again, 
I'm just gonna do it with my hand. These doesn't need to be like torque high or anything. That's it, that's tight. Then again, we're gonna go here. As I say, it's gonna be like a star pattern. It starts from like 12 o'clock. So that's how you do the, the change for all the fluid. As you say, the three hole uh, fluid change for your Harley and how to adjust your clutch cable. All we're gonna do next, that will be tomorrow morning since I have I had to wait till it get dark and the uh, AC make it, its uh, job here and make the garage like room temperature so we can do the clutch adjustment right. Um, again, that's what it's saying in the manual. As long as your bike is not hot, is not running, you can do it. If you don't have an AC in your garage, definitely you're not gonna take the bike inside the home to do it. <laughs> so um, tomorrow we'll have the spark plugs changed and then you're gonna have to run the bike to and you need to check your engine oil transmission oil levels especially the engine oil has to be hot that's the correct way to check your engine oil and also you want to make sure you have no leaks from anywhere from around the drain plugs from around the div sticks from around that cover so you're gonna have to make sure you have no leak at all. So um, you need to make sure your floor where you're gonna park your um, motorcycle after you run it is gonna be like no spots already. So you don't like get confused or anything. Again, we cleaned as much as we can from the inside after we drained everything. So also that will help us to make sure like we don't have any leak. So I will see you uh, in the morning, get the, get the spark plugs changed and run the motorcycle might give it a ride to use a test drive and uh, make sure we have no leak and check the engine oil